reminder to please, please do not store your dahlia tubers in your garden shed. If it freezes outside, it will freeze inside the shed. But much more damaging is the huge temperature swings that they can get during the day. On a day like this, when the sun is shining, even in the depths of winter, the temperatures inside the shed will soar and the dahlias are a live product. If you leave them in the shed, there's a good chance by the time you get to February, they would have already all perished. I'm going to show you a minimum maximum thermometer that we've got in here just so I can demonstrate. Let's have a quick look at the minimum maximum thermometer here. So you can see last night in the shed, the low was 3.2 degrees. So not freezing, but my goodness me, look at that temperature swing. So currently in the shed at the moment, it's a lovely sunny day. It's about 11 degrees outside, but in the confines of the shed, it is currently 28.8 degrees Celsius, which is what, 83, 84 degrees Fahrenheit? That is much, much too hot for your dahlias. They will not survive. That is hotter than it would be in your sitting room with all the central heating on. And you certainly wouldn't store your dahlias there, would you? So just be careful where you choose to leave them to rest over the winter. Make sure you dry your tubers off nicely first. Dry tubers are much more resistant to the cold because it is the water after all that freezes. Water on freezing expands and if your tubers are wet the water will expand and burst the tubers apart and then they will rot. So we're storing our tubers in crates here you can see in this shed which has got a tin roof which means it does not suffer the same temperature swings as a felt roof does. So if you have a garage that might be ideal. If you're not sure choose a nice bright sunny day and leave a minimum maximum thermometer in there for 24 hours just to measure the temperature swings. Once it gets to December, January time and the temperatures start to plummet, we will come in here with some blankets and cover the tubers for some extra insulation. Well, it's a much improvement on yesterday and all that lashing rain. Look at that sky. Now, although it's been wet out here, in the polytunnel, it's been nice and dry and hopefully we can put away the last of the dahlias today. I thought you might like to see our setup. So we're using these bulb crates. We're recycling the bulb crates to put the dahlias in. And you'll already be familiar with our red bags. You can see that the tubers have still got some soil around them because there's no point in washing them. Most of the soil will drop off during the winter. So when we come to divide them in the spring, they'll be pretty much clean anyway. And also we don't want to get them all wet again after taking all this time to dry them. See, on the floor here, we've got some wooden planks that we've put the crates on. This does two jobs. Number one, it lifts the dahlia tubers off of the cold floor. And number two, it adds just a little bit of ventilation underneath the bottom crate. If it gets very cold during the winter, it usually does at some point or another, we will put this tarpauling over all of the crates. Neil has tucked it down the back already. Then, if necessary, we will add some of these very old blankets over the top of the tarpauling just to keep the dahlias warm and snuggly. Now, the only time we've ever felt that they weren't warm enough in here was that year, 2018, the end of February until the beginning of March. It was minus 10 degrees. It was right at the end of the winter, so everything's already freezing cold. And we were so close to spring, so they may well have been fine. But that close to spring, we decided to take the tubers up to an unheated room in the house just for the week or two until the weather passed. Luckily, it's an extremely rare weather event. So Neil is placing the tubers carefully into crates. <laughs> Make sure you show them how carefully. <laughs> now, you'll probably notice we've got little tags on them with crate letters. And that is because as well as putting a label in the bag, Neil has got a list. So here is Neil's list and you can see each crate has got a list of which tubers are in there. So when it comes to the spring 
and we need to decide which tubers we'd like to start off first, especially if we're going to take cufflinks. Rather than go through all the bags looking for our prized dahlia, we can just check the list and go straight to the right crate. Now, I would never have done that. I never did do that. I just spent hours, <laughs> hours and hours going through the crates, which I quite enjoyed because I'm like visiting old friends. But I must admit, this method is a lot more sensible. And I've got more about the planning of the garden, which I'll share with you in the spring again. It's all Mr. Organised, nothing to do with me. I just choose what flowers are gonna grow. So I'll follow you then, shall I? Here boy, here boy, here boy. <laughs> I'm a girl. For your super massive dahlia tubers, or if you've got more than one variety that won't fit in the red bags, look what I've got here. So these are the bags that the logs come in. We've had these for years. We probably bought them back in 2018 with the beast from the east because we ran out of the logs in the log shed. So never throw anything away. These are brilliant for your super huge dahlia tubers or if you want to store them all together. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that. So Neil says we need to put the label in the bag first. The idea is it drops to the bottom and then when we come to check what the dahlia is later, it's easier to see straight away exactly which variety it is. And the reason that we like these bags so much and not bags like these, these onion bags, they look great, don't they? But this loose weave, we find that the labels tend to fall out the bottom and then you're back to square one and you don't know what it is. There we go, that is a job well done. Everything's tucked up and we will pull the tarpaulin down probably at the weekend when the weather temperatures look like they're gonna fall and keep everything nice and cozy.